it's a new day, it's a new vlog. Today, I thought we need to get back on track because, you know, after the holidays, even though it was like two weeks ago, um, and then we went out of town like the week before that, and it just feels like our life right now is all over the place, and I just want to get us back in the routine. With that being said, oh my goodness look at my nails they're bad i know these two broke and then everybody else is growing we're actually about to head to the nail salon right now because i need to get these fixed asap my inspiration is i really like the brown look right now especially because it's like that fall winter vibe i'm really debating between like these or oh my god that's just so embarrassing <laughs> okay do y'all watch jersey shore well if you do then you know Polly d Polly d has hair that looks like this i'm just gonna put it on the screen his hair is this and I was watching it the other day and I was thinking, what does his hair look like without all the products? <laughs> anyway, so I looked it up and this is what he looks like without all the products and it just killed me. I cried laughing. I was going to make a TikTok about it and I haven't done it. And anyways, that is why that's on my phone. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I either wanted to get those or these where it has like the brown tips um so i don't know i've been going back and forth i think i'm leaning more towards this so here we go so we're starting out with getting these nails done as y'all know i got my nails done but unfortunately i have black toenail polish and if i take my nail polish off my toes then my fingers are gonna come off why can't you wear gloves gloves yeah i've got gloves in the garage i'm pretty sure it'll just seep through don't tickle me though. Be serious. Don't get on your paint. This is nail polish for Oh gosh. You got it <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> oh, this feels so funny. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should just wet that side since you keep doing it all the time. Not like that! <laughs> oh What's wrong with that? You just poured it! Next. <laughs> You're the best. Chicken, Jesus, can you remove my nail polish now, Dad? Yeah, I got you, girl. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You're welcome. So on my list was that we needed to clean the house up a little bit. Um, one thing we've been slacking right now is our bedding. It looks like a mess right now. <laughs> Mainly because we just woke up. But we need to wash our bedding and the guest room bedding because we've had guests in there and we need to wash it.
All right, if you know anything about me, I'm really not the biggest coffee fan, um, but sometimes it just sounds really good, especially on a cold day. So, I love the Starbucks non-dairy almond milk and oat milk. Oh, it's the caramel macchiato. So good. Something about Starbucks's caramel is absolutely addicting. So, um, I don't know if I can put this in the vlog, but we used to ask my grandfather how he liked his coffee, and he used to say white like my woman. Um, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Sugar. So yeah, you could say I don't like coffee um, after how you see how I make it. And I really don't. It's just on occasion. I'll drink it. Kinda. Anyways, okay. We need to go grocery shopping for this week. Um, I wanna make dinners this week. I need to meal prep for lunches this week because Luke will not eat lunch if I don't make his lunch. So, I need to go grocery shopping. trial to see if these are the cookies we want to make for some gifts anyway so I had to go get stuff for that so we got cake flour I actually I got where is it chocolate chips but they were like five bucks at Kroger bruh you go to Costco you get this for ten bucks this five dollars this ten dollars go to Costco I need more onion powder, so I get it from Costco because it's literally the same price as the little ones at Kroger, so I go to Costco. Also needed avocados, got that. Dairy-free yogurt, it's so good. So we got pork chops. I'm gonna do a crock pot pork chop. Um, love this because it's only five bucks. We got bread, Colby Jack. Slices, Parmesan, shredded cheese, and cheddar shredded cheese. Cinnamon rolls, strawberries, sticks of butter. Salsa, this is for a crock pot dinner meal. We were out of salt. Chicken broth, it was a dollar. It was on sale at Kroger, so I got two of them. Tortillas and some sour cream. This is the last thing. I got chips because we didn't have any and somebody, somebody at our church just made us some homemade salsa and it smells so good. I cannot, hold on, I gotta open it so I can show you. They just made it for us and I was like, what the heck? So I had to get us some chips, but man. Oh, I can smell it right now. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a little taste test. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm hungry. Let's try this bad boy. Oh, this smells so good. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is so good. I love homemade salsa. It's so good. 10 out of 10. Love it. I need to go take a shower. And brush my teeth. I feel absolutely disgusting. So let's go do that.
So I need to make some sample cookies to see if we're going to use this recipe in a gift box. So let's make some cookies. timer just went off. Let me actually turn this on so we can see. Let's see. Oh, those look fire. Okay, hold on. Gotta get a mitt. These look so good. I'm obsessed. Okay, I really want to try cookies, so let's just do it. Um, this one looks the best because it has a lot of chocolate chips. Let's see. It's perfect. Look, you open it. Let me see if I can open it. And it's just all the chocolate's like perfectly melted. Okay, it's a few hours later and we got Luke's lunch. So we just did a sandwich. Tomato, spinach, turkey, cheese with strawberries. I need to add chips. Okay. So I always try to do the main meal, usually with some kind of vegetable or fruit on the side, and then something salty. And then I try to add something sweet, which is usually Probably a pudding for him. He likes pudding. There you go. And that's it. One of the most important things to put our life back in, back on track, if you will, we got to refill the goldfish jar. Unbelievable. With the goldfish that I spilled, Don't tell Miranda. One of the things on the list was I really need to get my car cleaned. I have trash and I have clothes and I just have stuff everywhere. Um, I need to get it cleaned. And also the outside of my car looks nasty. Mm, we made it. Did y'all see that I accidentally sucked up my pretend spider? That spider has been with me since I was like 20. And it was supposed to help me like conquer my fear of spiders. And I was playing around and I just got it sucked up. It's gone. It is gone. I have to call Luke. Mm -hmm. um, and it got sucked away. Nice. So now I don't have it. <laughs> don't worry, we can get you another one. One thing that I need to do to get back into my routine is working out. I have been slacking bad, which means I haven't been going at all which is not good. Anyways, so I had gotten a gym membership and I felt like I was doing pretty good for just starting. 
Um, and then the holidays happen and the cold season happened and I just stopped going. And I don't like that because I genuinely want to work out. I just have no motivation lately. So today I was like, now that we're getting doing this little vlog to get back in my routine, I need to go to the gym. But I got home from work and I was like, I really don't want to drive all the way to the gym right now. So I was like, I need to stop making excuses because I have stuff here that I can work out with. And I was like, I just need to work out here. So that is what I'm going to do. reading my bible i was doing so well at staying on top of it and then life happens and i honestly just get lazy and don't either don't want to read or i honestly just forget to read um and something that actually helps me right now i just got this it's called prayer journal for women it's 52 weeks scripture devotional and guided prayer journal. This is her. Um, I'm about to actually start this right now. Um, sometimes I, I need help. That's really what it is. I just need help on figuring out what I want to read. Um, and this one is super cool because it gives you a scripture to read. And it's usually pretty short, obviously. And then on the next page right here it has you reflect on what you just read and it'll ask you like a couple questions to kind of get you thinking and then on the next page it has a little section for you um, to write like what you're thankful for things that you're learning it says guide me um, things on my heart up here things that were highlighted to me and then prayer request um so it kind of just gets you thinking um everybody gets out of the routine everybody accidentally forgets to read their bible or you just get lazy it's okay it's a normal thing but if you start having those feelings maybe you should just start trying just saying i hope that maybe it helps motivate you get your routine going or start a new routine whatever it may be you got it you can do it trust me um that's it for this vlog i'll see you in the next vlog i really need to go to bed because it's like 11 o'clock that might not be late to you but to me it's 3 a.m so i gotta go <laughs> bye yes i just worked out but am I eating a whole bag of Reese's while laying in bed and watching a movie? Yes, I am. So that is the reality of my life.